All right, everybody, how y'all doing? Excuse me for that. Y'all know you heard that loud burp. I apologize for that. All righty, AMD Ryzen 9 5980HS Cezani review Ryzen 5000 mobile tested. Now, I was looking at another article saying that Ryzen 5000 had a desktop APU out, but they don't. Just to clarify that, um, mostly all the 5000 series are mobile, and everybody knows that you can go ahead on and take your laptop and connect it to your 4K television because all Ryzen's gaming laptops are 4K compatible to 4K televisions. So, when the person leaked the information, the person leaked the information anonymous because he didn't want to give his name. Now, see, if I go ahead and, and say that. I got me a, a, a Ryzen 5000 APU desktop. You think I'm going to sit down and put anonymous? I don't think so. It's going to say, welcome to Ron's world. I'm going to have the APU flashing. Da -da -da, gaming on it. Whether I'm doing everything in low settings with the APU, with the um, onboard graphics, or i um, all I'm on that the rising rising <laughs> five thousand series um RTX thirty sixty twelve gigabyte GPU pushing heavy. So yes. So now they have recently tested their um Ryzen five thousand mobile tested and they're running good, they're running strong. Dr. Lisa should be happy about that. So since AMD introduction of its newest Zen Core, Zen 3 Core for desktop users, the implementations for netbooks and mobile users has been eagerly awaited. In a single generation on the same manufacturing process, AMD extracted 19% more performance per clock. We verified. So for any system that is power limited, extra performance is often very well received. AMD announced its new Ryzen 5000 mobile processors family at the start of the year with processors from 15 watts to 45 watts in the pipeline and their first mobile system coming to the market in February. AMD sent us a peak example of the Ryzen 5000 mobile for today review the 335 watt Ryzen 9 5980HS as contained in the Asus Rogue Flow X13 and then notice it says Ryzen 9 5980HS as contained in the Asus Rogue Flow X13 Laptop, not desktop, laptop. Now, for those that didn't catch the original announcement a couple of weeks ago, yes, they made the announcement at the um, CES 2021 um, Ryzen 5000 mobile family, as well as the key point from the announcement the Ryzen 5000 mobile processors series is an upgrade over last year. Ryzen 4000 mobile processor series, AMD co-designed both of these processors families to reuse key parts of the chip design, enabling fast time to market and quicker upgrade cycle for AMD notebook manufacturing partners, OEMs like Dell, HP, Lenovo, and others. The major difference between the two processors that the most users will encounter is that the new hardware uses eight of AMD latest Zen 3 CPU cores, which is an upgrade over the eight Zen 2 cores from last year. A highlight of the plus 19% raw performance uplifted when comparing the two at the same frequencies. Woo! Boy, Dr. Lisa's not playing. They are moving, and they notice that a lot of people like to carry their they, um, mobile devices on the go. So when they're on their launch break, they can go ahead and play their new latest games. And we know the new games going to be coming out. Outriders 
and Resident Evil 8. Ooh, and I know y'all can't wait. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Under the hood, there are a few more key changes than enthusiasts will be interested in. The new 8-core Zen 3 design shares the combined 16 megabyte L3 catch, which enables any of the 8 cores to access the full cache, reducing latency to the main memory from 4 megabytes to 16 megabytes compared to the previous design, which had two clusters of the 4 Zen 2 cores, each with 4 megabytes of cache. Wow. Boy, they, wow. The new processor is 180 millimeters 2 in size compared to 156 millimeter 2 from the last generation, but still fit into some of the socket that contains 10.7 billion transistors, which is up from 9.8 billion. This means an effective decrease in transistors' destiny, although we know that Zen 3 cores are slightly larger than Zen 2 cores, and some additional security measures have been added more to this page. Yep. AMD CEO Dr. Lisa Su showcased the Ryzen 5000 mobile at CES. Yes. Now, the mobile user wants to use RDNA in it than the mobile processor, so may have to wait longer. That means that maybe towards the end of the year, you might be seeing those big Navi GPUs into the laptop. So, y'all just go ahead on and let them do their magic. But right now, they're just trying to give y'all adequate gaming for your laptops at a nice efficiency power, not overheating everything. Everything keep it nice, cool, so your laptop can stay at peak performance while you reach those high frame per second rates if you're playing uh, 1440p. Or you decide to go ahead on the connector to your 55 inch or 60 inch 4K monitor and y'all just get loose, get wicked with it. So, moving right along now, in the leak source, they say that the AMD Ryzen 5000 had a APU desktop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna cut from this. I'm gonna cut from this right quick, and I'm gonna go into the um to AMD website, and we're gonna look at the desktop APUs. Now, as you see here, let me go ahead and get this in nice. As you see here, I don't count six APUs of the 4000 series. Now you got your AMD. Ryzen 3 4300G E, your AMD Ryzen 5 4600G E, your AMD Ryzen 7 47G E, and then you got your AMD Ryzen 4300G, your AMD Ryzen 46G, and your AMD Ryzen 47G. Now, I go up, I don't see no 5000. That have that that have that has been introduced into the laptops. That's another thing why when I go ahead on and I start doing looking for good resources to give to my viewers and my subscribers, I do not do leak information because leak information is straight biased to me. That means that if I get a leak information, I gotta skim through it first to see that any good realistic content that I could give to my viewers as well as my subscribers. There's no leak information content. So if you're moving right down, there's none. They only got the 4,000, and you know the 3,000, the 3,000 series, you know how many that is, as well as the um, first generation, the 1,200 series. So we know how many APUs came out with that. So when the person, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pull this website up. Because I don't want y'all to laugh. Because this is what got me hot. Now, it says AMD 7 5800G Zen Desktop APU Spotted. Features 8 Zen 3 cores and enhanced Vega GPU with 8 
compute units. Now, as I just read the AMD website, y'all would have saw the 5000 series right up there. Dr. Lisa Sue would not renege on anything dealing with her CPUs as well as a GPU. Now, if it is coming out, it's probably coming out towards the end of the year. But this, notice this says leak right here. Hardware leak. I don't do leak information because it's it's nonsense. Now, here's the thing. I'm, I'm going to read this. So this is the reason what made me mad. So far, we have only seen the AMD Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, excuse me, Ryzen 7 5700G. Cezani 8 core desktop APU in action, but it looks like Team Red have an even faster APU in the works. The Ryzen 7 5800G spotted within the Tech Power Up GPU validation web page. Now I'm gonna click on this. Y'all gonna see what I'm, I, I'm talking about now. In GPU Z validation MX reference, this is what pissed me off. Card name AMD Radon Vega 8 graphics. That means that's they that it has its own APU. Owner Anonymous submitted January 15, 2021 at 1221. Supposed to be on the Ryzen 7 5800 GI GPU. Now I'm gonna go back to them. I went through this whole page before I started this story, and I could not find no Ryzen 5000 5800 G GPU nowhere on their website. So, and then two, if you did a benchmark. On a new GPU, you got your hands on to. I'll be happy. It was says like this: Owner, welcome to Ron's World. Submitted January twenty eighth, two thousand twenty one. Ryzen seven fifty eight hundred G APU. It was you know IGPU. It was a APU. Now. Buff reference is PCI, which is that's the on uh, the on board sub vendor is a SUS. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this here. I'm gonna control C and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in the search bar. If it's by ASUS, ASUS will have some kind of type. See, ASUS you no, know, there's nothing. It just say GPU validation, which is gonna take me to that page I'm on right now, which is gonna take me there. So here, yeah, like I said, I don't do leaked information. So, back to the information because right now, AMD, as you see, the AMD Mobile 5000 series, H series, you got the Ryzen 9 5988HX to the Ryzen 5 5600HS. Now, moving right along. You got the Ryzen 5 5000 Mobile U series, Ryzen 7 5800U, Ryzen 5 5600U, Ryzen 3 5400U. Then you got your Ryzen 7 5700U, Ryzen 5 5500U. As you see the cores, the threads, and threes, and two. See, this would have been on AMD website. As I'm looking up processors rising with graphics. Now I'm going to scroll down. And it takes me to this page. Really. See, this is when I, when I do my research, I'm giving you all the information on here. Now, and I'm always on AMD and Intel websites. So, I'm on ASUS. I'm on Gigabyte. And I'm on Azeroth's website. Those are my manufacturers with NVIDIA. And of course, I'm on AMD because of their big Navi. I love the RX 6800 only. That's the only card I buy because it fits into my um, my um, PSU range. So, 
My PSU range is 600 watts. So, and it, they, they don't make no sense in upgrading my PSU when I don't have to. Alrighty, so as you notice, as you've seen the graphs, I ain't got a lot to you. The information is right here. I ain't got a lot. Information in front of your face. So, now I'm going to go to processor and desktop again. And then we're going to go to, now we know AMD has their Antelon processor with radon graphics. And there you go. You got the AMD Antelon Go 3150GE, four cores, four threads. I'm on the four core, four thread processor. I was on a four core, four thread processor with the uh, the A12 9800 with the uh, Radon 7 GPU. Then I increased it to a Ryzen 5 3600, which which pushes all my uh, progress, pushes all my apps and my rendering and my video rendering perfectly. Only thing I do is just bring my memory up to 32 gigabyte. To, um, about 3200 speed because that's what my uh, prime 320mk goes up to so 3200 gigabyte of RAM so once I put that in later on down the line of this year on point but as you see AMD Athlon Go 3150G again where are the AMD's Ryzen 7 5800U APU as they talked about. I don't see it. And I'm on AMD.com website. So I will be putting that information up point desktop. We're gonna go to um Ryzen. And I'm on, I'm going to a five thousand series. Now I'm on a five thousand series. Somebody please tell me. Where now with their desktops, and I know Dr. Lisa Sue will have with the desktop, she'll have the desktops up top, and then she'll have the um, desktop APUs to the bottom. I'll go to the APUs here. I see the rising, th I, I don't see nothing. Load more, I'm loading more, nothing. So one thing about this here, this tech part GPU Z validation, and just like I said, see it says leak. I do not do leak information. When I saw that and I read it and I pulled up this here, this here, what what really kind of threw me off because why be anonymous when you just tested out something that could be good for the consumers? If you test out the Ryzen 7 5800G, and I'm on the, um, oh, hell, I'm on the, um, Ryzen X 570, and you tested that out? Come on, let's be real. And I, I, I'm going to do something right quick. I'm going to go to, um, Asus website, and then I'm going to go ahead on and pull up. It's the wrong one. I'm gonna go ahead on and pull up their motherboards, and and I'm gonna go ahead on to the um CPU supported for the motherboard. If I don't see that the APU that 5800G APU, yeah, <laughs> y'all y'all know I'm getting down to the bottom of this. I I, I don't I don't like stupidity, and y'all know that. And fours chipsets. I'm going to X570 because that's the board you can use. It'll be 550s. I'm going to X570. I'm going to X570 Pro because that's what most a lot of boards a lot of people use. Alrighty, now I'm going to support. <laughs> y'all know I get down to the bottom of my information. This is why I give y'all give it to y'all raw, and I give it to y'all straight. That's one thing I like doing my news. I like giving all the information straight. Now here, the Ryzen 3 2200G, that is a, and the 2200GE, 
that is a APUs. Now I'm just going to stroll on down. It says Ryzen 7 5800G. I see my Ryzen 7 5800X. Now all the Ryzen 7 stays together. You got your Ryzen 7 Pros. Now I'm on my Ryzen 9s. And there is no Ryzen 7 5800X. See, this is one reason that kind of like angers me because I push everything for my viewers and for my subscribers. I give y'all the right information the way y'all like it. Straight, clean, raw. No, none is it. Oh, well, resources say no. Any leak information is bad resource because they want to go ahead and build the height because they ain't got a goddamn thing to talk about. That what pisses me off. Have something to talk about that we could go ahead on and give to our subscribers and our viewers. Just like with the MSI, um, Scout, they um, they are uh, thirty um, uh, the RTX thirty series, and then then a couple of days later, they want to send a letter out to, to to the people who sponsor them that they send them free stuff that so they can go and show it in their YouTube channel. That's another thing. To all the manufacturers, if y'all send me products, I will sit down on the see. I got, I believe in Asus, I believe in Gigabyte, and I believe in Asra. They back their shit up automatic. I don't believe in manufacturers that can't back their product up. They got to go ahead on and manipulate the consumers to spend more money when they don't have to. That's the thing I get to hear. It is we got to leak information. Stating that the um uh the, the Ryzen 7 5800G, I said, oh sicky, the 5800G APU out, boy. Let me go ahead and see. And I go, I do my research. I see nothing. And this is what irritates the hell out of me is stop putting up false information to review off of. Now the correct information is right here. All Ryzen 5000 Mobile U series and a mobile laptop series are holding the new 5000 series chipsets. Now we know that the motherboards, correction, we know that the laptops can be connected to a television because they have a 4K 2.0 HDMI port that you can connect to your 4K television for good high resolution and everything. And, and, and there's no need to try and sit down here and be sneaky about it. Here, the Ryzen 5 H500, the H series gaming platforms. And here they go. All ROG Strix, G15, G17, Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, Lenovo Legion 7, Acer Nitro 5, HPM Open 15. MSI Alpha 14 slash 15, Gigabyte RO7, Lenovo ID, Lenovo Idea Pad, Gaming 3, HP Pavilion Gaming 15, MSI Bravo 15, MSI, I don't know why y'all put, put that up there, I need to take that out, ROG Cypress Duo 15SE, <laughs> ROG Cypress 15 G15 Gigabyte Arrows 5 Lenovo Legion 5 Lenovo Legion Sum 7 Asus Tough A15s and a A17s ROG Flow X13s ROG Cypress G14 14s These are all day laptops that carry the 5000 H series mobile GPU that is on the market right now and AMD is dead serious about their gaming. They are strict on point with it. I don't know Intel could out top them with this cell. We'll see. Because now they got the new Intel Rocket Lake and Auto Lakes coming out with the new HZ590 motherboards and the new LGA 1700. So. Right now, Dr. Lisa Sue letting everybody know that AMD on point with their gaming and they're going to be on point. And they got good stuff coming out in 2022. So, 
I just had to bring that out. Now you already saw all the, the platforms. And here, Sazani, Ryzen 5000 Mobile, 8X Zen 3 with the Vega 8. They got Lucini, 5 Ryzen 5000. I mean, come on. I mean, it, it, all the information right here, I will be putting this information in the description below so y'all can go ahead and continue reading, but it is a lot. Test the AMD claims and notebooks. There you go. Come on. It just not my notebooks here. Where are they desktops? Nowhere to be found. <laughs> Alrighty. I glad y'all enjoyed this segment here of AMD um, Mobile Ryzen 5000 series hitting the lines out. Uh, glad y'all enjoyed it. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Without y'all, it wouldn't be no me. So I want y'all to continue watching and continue to allow me to give you the best right information that y'all love and that y'all can go ahead and get on to. I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. Peace.